Uh, welcome to uh, uh, this uh, lecture series. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the half bridge uh, single phase uh, square wave inverter. The circuit diagram for the um, inverter, this um, um, half bridge single phase inverter, is uh, this one. It uh, consists of uh, two switches and um, uh, two capacitors uh, which are connected in parallel to the uh, DC source. Usually these two capacitors are of uh, equal uh, values so that uh, the voltage across each capacitor is same. Uh, the supply voltage is plus VDC and the voltage across each capacitor will be the half of that one uh, VDC by 2. The center point of these um, capacitors um, is used as one terminal of the load and uh, the second terminal of the load is the uh, center point of the uh, two switches which are being used in uh, this uh, inverter circuit. Okay, so um, uh, there are two switches and uh, uh, two capacitors and one DC um, source uh, in this inverter circuit. So let's suppose that the capacitance is C and uh, the voltage across that one is VDC by 2 and uh, the switch is S1 and S2 and the parallel anti-parallel diode are given the name D1 and, and D2. So let's uh, draw the circuit again to understand the working of um, uh, this half bridge inverter circuit which is basically converting your DC into uh, square wave form uh, which is a very basic uh, wave form or you can say it's an AC wave form uh, the fundamental AC wave form okay so uh, now if your switch S1 is uh, turned on by the application of the gate pulse then the current uh, will flow uh, in this loop as shown uh, with the red color so the capacitor will be charged to VDC by 2 and when the switch S1 is uh, closed so your capacitor will be in parallel uh, to your uh, load assuming that uh, that your switch is ideal there is no voltage drop across that one and um, uh, there is um, in fast operation that it can turn on in no time so as soon as you will apply the gate pulse to the switch S1 it will be turned on and the voltage across the capacitor C will be applied across your uh, load. So uh, the voltage polarity will be uh, like this um, because the current is in from uh, the um, this point uh, uh, and leaving from this point so uh, the point from where the load is entering into the load that will be the positive one and from where the point uh, and from where the current is leaving that will be the negative point so the voltage polarity across the load uh, will be uh, this one okay so uh, the switch s1 is conducting and the voltage across your load is vdc uh, by 2 now you cannot turn on uh, the switch S1 and S2 together because if you turn them on um, and together your supply will be short circuited because um, both of the switches are on and we are considering them the ideal switches so it will be a short circuit. So if this S1 is short circuited S2 is short circuited so your uh, DC supply will be uh, short circuited. So uh, you must not uh, uh, turn them on together. So when you are applying the gate pulses to the switches S1 and S2 there must be a gap in between so that there is no short circuiting of your uh, DC uh, source. So when you turn on the um, when you are going to turn on the switch S2 you are supposed to turn off switch S1. So now uh, look at the second figure in this uh, if the switch S2 is turned on and switch 1 is in the off state uh, then the path of the current will be uh, like this as shown by uh, this um, uh, red uh, color and uh, because of the uh, flow of the current uh, the polarity across the load will be uh, this one positive 
uh, at the center point of the capacitors and the negative at the uh, center point of the uh, switches in this state uh, in this con uh, configuration your s2 is in the on state and s1 is in the uh, off state okay so uh, the load polarity you can see with respect to your first case first diagram is uh, opposite in the first case the positive is at the center point of the switches but in the second case the positive is at the center point of the uh, capacitor so load voltage is uh, uh, opposite uh, the magnitude of the voltage is same that is vdc by 2 in both cases but the polarity of the voltage is uh, exactly um, opposite so uh, uh, we can uh, now uh, draw the waveforms for this circuit so applied voltage is uh, um, perfect dc uh, as constant voltage is being applied and your switches are being turned on and off so let's assume that that uh, the turn on time of your switch s1 is exactly same as that of the turn on time of your switch s2 so uh, but both of the switches are not on um, uh, at the same time first we turn on switch s1 and once uh, uh, it is turned off then switch s2 will be turned on so let's divide this interval into uh, two parts ds by 2 and ds by 2 so um, we will be turning on the switch s1 in the interval first interval and then we will be turning uh, turning on the switch uh, s2 in the second interval so we are going to apply um, the gate pulse to the first switch s1 that is indicated by the uh, voltage vg1 that's the gate voltage of your switch or the base voltage of your switch so once you apply the um, gate um, voltage to this one so it will be turned on and um, the voltage um, will be uh, vdc by 2 <coughs> across the uh, load okay so uh, uh, plus vdc by 2 will be there across the load and uh, uh, the second switch at that instant of time will be in the off state that you can uh, see indicated with the green color when your switch s1 is on so your switch s2 is in the off state and then uh, in the second half interval ts by 2 your switch s1 will be turned off and your uh, switch s2 will be turned on so gate signal of the s2 is uh, indicated by the green color so when that will be turned on so your load voltage will be uh, negative uh, with respect to the uh, first half cycle so um, when you apply the uh, gate signal s to, uh, to the switch s2 so um, uh, your output voltage will be uh, opposite with respect to your first mode of operation so the output voltage waveform of your um, load voltage is uh, given uh, like this so it's a pro uh, periodic waveform because we are periodically turning on uh, and off the switches s1 and s2 so uh, your output voltage waveform as you can see in this diagram is a, a square waveform the minimum value is minus vdc by 2 and the maximum value is uh, plus vdc by 2 okay so uh, this is the um, uh, working of your this half bridge um, uh, square wave inverter so when you are going to turn on the switch uh, the current is going to flow as the voltage is constant and we have the resistive load so a constant current will uh, flow through your um, uh, load uh, when a particular switch is on and the positive current will be there when you have the positive voltage and the negative current will be there when you have the negative voltage applied across the um, uh, uh, load so um, for this resistive load the uh, current waveform will be exactly of the same shape as that of your uh, voltage and the magnitude of the current waveform can be determined by simply dividing uh, the uh, voltage vdc by 2 uh, with the value of the resistance that is uh, connected between the center point of the capacitors and the center point of the uh, switches arm 
so that is um, uh, vdc by 2r and in on the negative side it will be minus vdc by uh, 2r so um, the area that is covered by uh, the voltage waveform across the time axis um, when the voltage is positive i will call it the positive area and when the uh, it is below the time axis i will and call uh, it uh, the negative area so positive area and the negative area must be equal to each other so that there is no dc component in this uh, uh, waveform so if the positive area and the negative area are not equal to each other uh, then there will be a dc component and um, uh, as you are converting your dc into ac uh, so uh, uh, dc component is not desired at the output so uh, that can be eliminated if you ensure that the positive area and the negative area are equal it means the voltage across the uh, load in the first half cycle must be equal to the uh, voltage in the second half cycle but with the opposite polarity if they are not equal then they will be the uh, dc component at the uh, uh, load so that is undesired uh, component um, and specifically when the load uh, contains the transformer because transformer um, and does not work on the dc and uh, um, there may be the saturation of um, the core of the transformer uh, that will be used so dc component is undesired and you must avoid um, you must ensure that that uh, there is equal voltage in the first half cycle and, and in the second half cycle and but with the opposite uh, polarity okay so um, uh, the condition is that that uh, uh, your uh, you must have the equal positive and the uh, negative uh, area so if these areas are equal there will be no dc component and if the areas are not equal then there will be the uh, dc component so uh, uh, this concludes the operation of the half bridge single phase uh, square wave uh, inverter this is the very basic uh, 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 inverter circuit which uh, takes the dc input and gives you the uh, square wave um, uh, output so we have discussed it with the uh, resistive load in the next lecture uh, we will discuss the same circuit with the uh, inductive load and we will see that uh, what will be the uh, current uh, waveform right so uh, thank you uh, for uh, uh, listening about the uh, half bridge single phase square wave in water